Hello, everyone. Hey. What are we making? That's up to you. Yeah, we have no idea what, gonna, what we're going to make today yet. It's totally up to you. Yeah, well, at least a Kaboom game. That is true. At least a Kaboom game. When Would you like to start? I guess the event has begun. People are making their way into the different sessions. Do you want to start introducing what we're going to be doing today? Okay, let's go. Yes, yeah, so um, this is a first um, a brief introduction of our host today. So um, my name is Tiga, and I'm the creator of Kaboom, and I also do some design engineering at Replit. Um, and um, do you want to give a short introduction for everyone, Nathan? Sure. Uh, I'm Nathan. I'm a community manager at Replit. I'm the Nathan from Repl when you get the newsletters. And uh, if you're on the Discord, I'm Zwack. If you're on Repl, I'm 21 Nadzil. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, so a little bit more introduction about what we're going to do today. So uh, first, what is Kaboom? Kaboom, um, Kaboom is a game library that we created uh, in JavaScript that uh, strives to make it more e easier for beginner coders to make a game. So um, if you don't know Kaboom already, there's a website, um, kaboomjs.com, you can learn more about it. Let's see, um, how do you paint a message here? Nathan, can you help me paint a message? For the, um, yes. Kaboom link? Thank you. Yeah, so, um, so that is Kaboom. And um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna improvise a, a game in Kaboom today. Uh, so what, what is improv improvise? Uh, the word improvise might not be associated with games a lot. It's mainly associated with music. And it means we're gonna come up with something completely on the spot that we don't, know we don't have any pre-existing ideas of what we're gonna build today. And we just come up with stuff and build it on the way. Um, so yeah, so how it's going to work is uh, we're going to ask you guys, the audience, uh, to type in any, any game idea you have, any idea you have that you want to make into a game. And we're going to pick some interesting one and just mash them together to be a completely, complete chaos, but fun. Um, so yeah, let's go. Typing any kind of yeah. for a game. There's been a ton of ideas so far. Disorder. RPG, I think someone meant to say dominoes, adventure game, rhythm game, horror game, horror game. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Terraria. Oh, it's another R person says RPG dating sim. Yeah. Does anyone have any like um like topic related themes? That's not a game type, like um. What kind of things we have to be in our game? One person mentioned a sandwich horror. Ooh, sandwich horror. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea for a 30-minute game. Hmm, what, what a sandwich horror could be. Hmm. Sandwich horror. Please. What is scary about making a... What is the scariest part about making a sandwich? Hmm. Eat the sandwich before it goes bad? So maybe like an egg sandwich? Mm, interesting. Yeah. Mold? Say, or we can just um, put some ideas together, like sandwich horror and bullet hell. I think, I think we should just start. Start with sandwich. Yeah. Sandwich horror. Now, how are you going to do, do you have like a bunch of like, are you going to make the art for it live? Or are you just going to pull art <laughs> from other places? Um, I think, I th yeah, I think I would draw some, some something really raw on the spot. So, um, okay. so I'll just start. Um, I will start sharing my screen now. Let's go. I mean, we can still change our ideas, but I have to make the rapper right now. So um, everyone can see my screen, right? Oh yeah, you opened the sandwich. Yes, yeah. awesome. 
Yeah, Nathan, if you can also keep an eye on chat and yep. anything interesting comes up. So we're going to um, create a boom repl here. Yeah. Mm, sandwich horroring the expired bread. Five nights at Disney World. Seems vaguely familiar. Hmm. Sandwich in a haunted cafe. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think Sam. Five Nights at Wendit's. What? Oh. Five Nights at Wendit's. Oh wait, that was a good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Let's bring Wendit's into his. Okay, so um, actually, <laughs> actually not too very familiar with the Wendy's law lore here, but um, we can make the game set. You know, I think part of this this game will be helping establish Wendit's lore. Oh yeah, absolutely. So um so yeah, I think this game's setting will be at, at a windows. And it's about a sandwich in the windows. Um I think sandwich horror could be um I feel like you don't know what ingredients you get in a sandwich. But sometimes it turns out to be horrible. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go with that. So um I'm actually gonna draw something first. So um one minute. Um, the horrible ones are moldy. A lot of people are saying moldy. That can be the enemy. The scary oh. part. Yeah, I like that. So I'm actually going to draw something in this part. We have P-Edit, but it's kind of buggy right now. So um, let's start drawing. Actually, let's make it 320. Ah. Okay, so let's first start with the sandwich. I haven't drawn in a long time, so it should be a complete chaos. How do, what does the sandwich look like? It's triangle, right? <laughs> oh, we want to do a triangle sandwich? You could do oh. like a square, or you could do a triangle. They're square, yeah. Sandwich are normally square. So that's just... One person said a circle. I don't know. I've never seen any <laughs> circular sandwiches. That could be a horror, a circus sandwich. It, it looks more like a brick. Let's just call it a sandwich. So that'll be our um, that'll be our first half of the sandwich. Oh my god! And there you go. That'll be our bread. All right. Let's call it a bread. That does look like bread to me. At <laughs> I mean, that's a horror bread. Okay, let's, um, oh, oh, we have two. Evil molded bread would be the boss. Ooh. So what's the challenge, guys? What is the, we under, it's, or you gotta make it a horror game. It's a sandwich horror game, but what is the challenge? Mold is an enemy. But what, how do you defeat the mold? What is what challenge is the mold presenting? Hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, I think we can play as as a. I think as a player, we can be the person who is eating the sandwich. Ah. Oh. And so, oh wait, okay. So maybe you're trying to the sandwich is trying to escape the moldy establishment. Hmm. To get to our mouth. Oh, I like that. Wait, but um, yeah, this kind of sounds like we are playing as as the sandwich, like we are escaping the mode mode. Yeah. Guess who this is? Um, let's just make it pretty. Uh... Wait, it takes a second. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can control this player character to um um to like if you if you see a molded sandwich, you have to close your mouth. So it, oh, like the sandwich will fly to you, and you have to close your mouth to avoid molded sandwich and uh, open your mouth for a good sandwich. Yeah. 
Oh, and what if like the horror aspect was because like you could only see like a small radius around you? Ah, I love. So that. you had to like make that decision quickly. I love that. I love that. I like that. It's crazy. So I, I'm just gonna not bother with the art now. That's that'll just be our clear. Um, made a short. Let's make a short animation for this one. Um, so there are two frames, one frame with the mouth shut and one frame with the mouth open. Make the mouth shut. Oh, what is that? Did you make the stickers for the Replit store? Someone has asking. Um, I, I'm not the one who made the stickers, but I think um, the sticker has some characters that come from me. I think Lena yeah. made the stickers, I think. So if you don't know this, this guy is called Mark. Ah, no, that mouth is way too high. Mark is kind of like our mascot here. Okay. Um, where does the mouth go? Oh no. Okay, <laughs> let's just use this. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, a coconut milk narrator. That is oddly specific, and I like it. Wait, what? A coconut milk narrator. Ooh, I love that. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely should be heavily food themed. Um, wait. Export. I haven't used a new version yet. What does this mean? Oh my god. Export sprunch. Why, why is it not letting me export? Oh, oh, I see. Um, okay, we're gonna use array for so we're uh we're exporting the sprite as a sprite sheet right now. Oh, why? Why is it doing this? So save it and export it. What's the sprite editor you're using? Uh, it's called a sprite. Um, there's a pixel editor. Oh no. Hmm. Where is the why is it not letting me save these? Ah okay, so it works. Layer times Okay, we got a sprite now. And I'm going to um I'm gonna go back to the replit editor and import our sprite. Awesome. Go. Okay. We are. The time is limited too. We're kind of racing against the clock. We are very racing. Very. So it's. We'll hit the code when it's done. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we're at the editor now. We're going to upload the player sprite we just added to here. And actually, I'm going to go here and also upload. So we're using um, Kaboom have native support for the uh, the A sprites export format. So now we're going to start by um, putting this sprite into the game. Let's first run the game um, and delete the. Uh, also, um, let me just share this. Repo to you guys so you can all see the or copy the code. You can also feel free to code along if you want. So it's just yeah, fun. maybe you guys can maybe implement the same thing but in a different way. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, everyone should do it. And For those who have just kind of recently joined us, the plan is right now to create a sandwich horror game where you are trying to hunt down and eat the good sandwiches at a Wendy's while avoiding eating the moldy sandwiches or the bad sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I, I just posted a link uh, in the chat and you should be able to access the Spotify page and see the code. You can keep refreshing to see the new code. So we have our game running right here. Ooh, okay. 
let's start importing the sprite. So um, start a new line and, and use the interest load code here. And so this line, we loaded the mark sprite. Um, let's just first start by renaming this to mark. Okay, so we have our mark sprite here. Um, let's make it into an animation. So, so it's exported from a sprite. Oops, and we have a, a sprite. Oh, what is called? It's right. Uh, putting it on uh, support for eighth byte export formats. And it also takes in the sprite sheet JSON, mark.json. That should work. Refresh it. See, uh, we also we only have the frame one now. And we can see the frames too. Um, let's just first assign this game object to the variable. Um, Let's see if the second frame works just by assigning the frame number. Nice. So we got our um, player sprite imported. And let's go start, make, just start by making the interaction. Oh, actually, let's make the, because it's a pixelated game. So we want the, the pixels to appear bigger. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's make it a little bit um, 20. Thinking to make it the center, so let's do a height. Uh, in the center, um, vertically should be a height divided by two. And let's also make it make the spike orange into the center, so it'd be actually in the center. Let's see if it works. Nice. Okay, let's start making the some interactions. Um, let's do let's do a. Um, you can close the mouse when you press space key. The uh, um, on mouse press. I think it's my on mouse press. Yep. I'm on press space, and we assign. We assign. Uh, so whenever a user presses space, we assign the frame number to one, which is the closed mouse frame. And when you release the space key, let's make it the first frame. So you, um, nice. So you can see I'm pressing the space key here and it's shutting the mouse and opening. Whatever. <laughs> Love that. It looks pretty funny. Okay, so we have our mark here. Let's start adding some sandwiches. Let's go. Um, let me see. Uh, let, actually, let's let's make the uh, make the logic for the sandwich first. I'm thinking um, the sandwich could could be flying towards you, and you have to avoid it. Um, yeah. So I think we can do. Let's first make the sandwich of a rectangle. Oops. Okay, so so also I'm not I'm not explaining everything I'm doing here because I'm because I'm on, we are on a time constraint. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but these structures should all be in the uh, tutorial and documents. So feel free to check out some tutorials after if you're not familiar with Kaboom yet. So uh, let's start by adding a rectangle on the let's this on the screen on the um on the right side. Oops, we have to give it a let's do this right now and let's do a position of uh, it should come from the right edge, so it should start from the width. And let's go. Let's also go to the middle of the screen. Oops. So we have a half of a rectangle here. Let's start uh, making it move toward the player. So let's just assign this game object to a variable sandwich. And we do sand. On update is a function on game objects that runs the call runs the callback function every frame. So in this case, this will from run this code sixty frames per second. So in here we are. Let's assign the position uh, to a new position. Oh, let's actually use the move function. Um, find a sandwich speed. 
I'm going to refresh my uh, tab real quick. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's say the sandwich will move towards the users at 120 pixels per second. So the movement, the move function takes in the, um, the velocity as pixel per second. And we can see if this works. Nice. Oh, I love that. So you can see our uh, our sandwich is approaching our player here. Just exactly what we want. Um, I want to actually make it a little bit slower. Yeah, that's crazy fast. It is. I mean, if it's not flat fast, it's not. It's not enough. Not enough horror. It should be a sandwich horror game. Um, but let's make it ninety for now. Um, okay. What what should we do next? Uh, let's add the collision logic. Yeah. Um, so, because we have to know if player have eaten the good or bad sandwich or not. So, um, to add collision, we just add the. Oh, we already have an area. So we, we have to add the area component here, uh, and you can check if the collider is added correctly by pressing F1, which is enter uh, inspect mode. So now we have um, coll colliders for. Oh, the guy's eyes got bigger as the sandwich got closer. Yeah, I like that. Uh, maybe we can do that um, later. Later. When it hits uh, you, it's also on your screen. That's a good one too. Wait, what? One person said oh. when the sandwich hits you, you get sauce all over your screen. I, I love that. I love that. That's that's great. Great feedback. The players. Um, Have you done the moving for like the uh, the moldy sandwiches? Because I was thinking, what if like as they as they like kind of moved around, they like went like really fast and slowed, and then really fast and then slowed, instead of just like that way, it's like kind of scarier, like it's kind of catching up. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's let's actually do that. So make the make the speed vary a bit. Yeah. Instead of a constant speed, I love that. So um, let me see. Instead of moving. The speed moving smoothly, we can make it just um, very abruptly. Like, uh, let, let's try something like this. So every, uh, oh, that's actually don't use. Um, let's use for this first. So every 0.5 second, the speed will change. Okay, we already we already at 20 minutes mark here. We have to move really fast. We never, yeah. Um, so every 0.5 seconds, we'll change the sandwich speed as to a uh, rand, random between, um, let's say between really slow and really fast. Oh, it's going to be so fast. I think this is good. And, and this will be, let's see what this does. Oops. Ah, it shouldn't be cast. We're assigning this here. Let's see what it's Ooh, do you like that? Yeah, that looks great. Very horror. That's that's very horror. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's let's add a collision logic here. So once the player, um, it's a little bit easier if we um give because we are going to have a lot of sandwich here, and that's, I'm thinking it'll be easier if we give all the sandwich attack called sandwich. So we can control their behaviors together more easy. Um, so let's check for the collision mark dot on collide. So on collide checks for collision between another group of objects. And if it collides with any object has a tag sandwich, we do something. And for now, we just, let's try to just shake, shake the screen. If it works. Ooh, nice. Nice shake. <coughs> okay, so we have the collision logic. Uh, let's start. Let's start adding um, the logic for checking if it's a mo if it's a bad sandwich or not. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking. Oh, let's first make make it spawn a lot of sandwich. So for this, let's first try and make it uh, spawn one second every, uh, spawn one sandwich every second. Let's do a um, loop here. 
Um, so we're spawning. We're adding this every one second, and this sandwich. Let's see. Uh, oops. Oh yeah, it shouldn't be because we're not signed to a variable now. We're actually gonna use on update that controls all sandwiches that all sandwiches that um, have the sandwich tag here. So let's do this, and this should work for all sandwiches. Nice. It's a lot of sandwiches are coming our way now. Um, but they, I think they should have different speed. So that's actually assigned the speed under the sandwich, under each sandwich. And we changed all the speed of all of them uh, here. Speed. We, we do a loop. We do a every sandwich for every sandwich oops we change the speed um should we actually do that yeah sandwich sandwich dot speed equals ran Oh, wow, that's, that's very chaotic. Maybe put out a sandwich like once every two seconds. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it should be, it should be a bit chaotic. It would, it would not be horrible. Um, let's add the molded sandwich logic here. Um, so I think it's also going to be a flag under the sandwich. It's bad. We can do a... It has a 50-50% chance of being bad here. Um, and when we collide with a sandwich, we check if the sandwich is bad. Sandwich. Oh, actually, this session is 45 minutes. So we also have 17 minutes right now. But we well, still have to move fast. Sandwich if oh, sandwich dot bad. We do something else. And else. I think we, I think we should shake, shake whatever. Uh, if it's bad, I think we just, we just, um, what do you think if we should happen if we eat a bad sandwich? Maybe it's shake. Someone suggested there should be like a sound that happens. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely should be a sound. Let me check. Uh, should you just, do you think the game should just end? Maybe you lose like 10 points. So like every like 10 sandwiches, you get like another life. Hmm. And then it makes you like it makes you throw up the good sandwiches. Ah, <laughs> I love that. We should make a throw up animation. <laughs> it should be throwing up should be. Oh, I like this idea. And you win the game by eating too many sandwiches, and you explode. I love that. So either way, either way, you, you kind of die. <laughs> you just throw up or you just explode. Like inevitable fate of horror. Uh let me let me pick a sound here. I think I think um if you eat a good sandwich, you should burp. That makes sense. Because you're satisfied. Let's see. Uh, oh. Uh wait. The burp is burp broken. Is burp broken. Let's see. I'm not hearing any sounds. Ooh. Ah, I think it's because we have to. Okay, there's sound. There it is. Okay, we have to. 
It's actually really. Uh, okay, let's get back to it again. Uh, I'm going to make the volume a little bit lower because be very loud. Let's go. I feel like every programming language needs a burp function. Absolutely. Just a requirement. Should be a system call. <laughs> yeah. The first system call you implement on an operating system. I think it's working now. So half of the sandwich is bad and half is burping. So um, let's make this go up. I want to make this go up now. Uh, if we eat a bad sandwich, we're going to throw up here. And by throwing up, I'm thinking we just, for now, we can just tilt the head to the bottom. Yeah. Make something come out from the, from the head. Uh, how do we do that? So um, I'm, I think we're going to add a state to the player here. It is throwing up. <clears throat> and when this happens, we switch this. We switch that state to ah, it's way too much, way too much work. It's throwing up equals true, and wait, and that should maintain for two seconds. Let's say mark that is throwing up is false. Oh, that's. Mm, Oh, Brian makes a good point. Stop the movement of other sandwiches while throwing up. Yeah, I love that. I, I was actually going to make the collision just um, return if it's if it's throwing up, but I think we can do that. So um, to do that way, I think we just have to do this. If Mark is throwing up, we don't move the sandwich. Yep. And let's let's make the behavior for uh, Mark throwing up. Um, let's add a rotate component here. Uh, it should be zero at first. And when it's throwing up, we assign the rotation to 90 degrees. And when it's not throwing up, we reassign it to. Let's do this for now. Okay, let's see. Uh, is it 90 or negative 90? I'm actually not sure. Oh. We're throwing up right now. <laughs> we should we throw up some. Let, let's quickly search for the throw up sound. Free sound. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blah. Throw up. I think we have to log okay. off. This... Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Whoa. That's that's too graphic. Oh yeah. We just need to like a bleh yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, I love that. That works. I mean, it'll also. Be, I think it'll also be really funny if the throughout like keeps for ten seconds. Oh, we have to log. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Wait. Ah, uh, I think I forgot my. Actually, just ah oh, shit. Ah uh, okay. Let's see. Ah, oh my God. We can't, I don't think we can use this for, for now. Uh, I'll find something in the, uh, oh, actually let's try, let's try the, uh, let's try the sound lab, oops. We have some sounds here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Definitely not this. Wait, is this all? Is this a throw-up sound? That's an option. <laughs> oh my god, that's a. Oh, I think that works. You mean this? Oh wait, wait, wait. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like this one. <laughs> oh, can I'm we sorry. turn it down in ka in kaboom? Sorry, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It shouldn't be that loud. And after this, we lost 10 viewers. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. That's disaster. That's definitely, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine. 
That's we're so running funny. out of time though. We only got ten more minutes. Yeah, we, we gotta get things going. Yeah, we, we should play the. Oh, we have to have to load this first. Ah, I don't want to spend all the remaining time to. Uh, it's hard throw for making the throw up logic, although it's the most important part of the game. Um, Mark, you'll see your name tossed around a lot here. Mark is a a very popular name with uh, with Replit. Don't take it personally. Uh. <laughs> That works. Hopefully, yeah. you you won't be losing that often. So it's not like the sound is going to uh, to be going off. Hopefully, that often. <laughs> I think I think we should start. Oops, what is that? Ah, let's see if you can go there. Uh, let's start making this. Adding a sandwich. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch to the. Um, to the pixel editor and complete us the sandwich sprites. Okay, gonna be real fast. Oops, where is the? Okay, oops. We would record the sounds, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time, Brandon. Ah, uh, part of the sandwich. Um, I think it's gonna be so a bunch of mold. We need to make it moldy. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking, let's make it look a little bit more like a sandwich by maybe some layers. Uh, time is ticking. Okay, let's add something in the middle. What should be in the middle? Some ham, maybe some cheese. Let's go. Let's make a ham. Let's make a ham. Ah, uh, we only have almost five minutes. Uh, what is a ham? Let's just do this. I think it looks okay. Lettuce. People are saying no tomato. No tomato? You don't like No tomato, tomato but lettuce. Let's pick a lettuce color. I'm just gonna draw like this. Ah, wait. Still another layer. Um. Oops. We will reshare the link we shared a while ago. We'll put the uh, REPL link in the chat later. Oh yeah, someone else has it. Just shared it. Um. Uh... Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's just. Well, what does the lattice look like? I mean, let's just go with this. We don't have time. I think you got it. We don't have time. Um. Perfect. That looks great. That's, that's a. That's the best sandwich in the world. I want to actually make it a little bit smaller. Um. Oops, that's not. Ah, blocking my mouse. Five minutes. The program is called uh, eSprite. Ah, let's go with this. Sandwich. And we now we have to add some mode. Um, so to do that. Got five minutes. Got five minutes. Let's do another frame with another layer that has the mode. What does the mode look like? Is Just a greenness, a dark green. green. Dark green. On the bread. Um, let's make it horrible. Let's make it a... Ah, uh, let's just... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to... It's no time. Let's go with this. That's our mode. That's our sandwich. Let's build this up. Spider five, whatever. Okay, let's import the sprite, the sandwich. Let's change my screen again to the 
Sandwich horror game. Let's go. Sandwich. Let's part out sandwich. Sandwich is here. Our sandwich. Jason. Four minutes. Uh, we got this. And oh, sandwich. Ah, nice. Let's go. Let's replace our rectangle with our sprite here, which is called sandwich. And let's see. Um, let's decide what if it's bad here, and if it's bad, frame, oh, frame. If it's bad, we give it. Um, if it's bad, it should be the second frame. If it's not, it should be the first frame. And this should be bad. It's bad. Alphabetics in the time. What? Oh. We have some sandwiches now. Nice. Oh, it's a bad one. Let's 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 add the. Um. Okay. We we have to add the. Oh, that's way too much. That's true. The sandwich has got to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's true. Or we can be a bit bigger. True. 0.5. Um, close mouth. Mouth close. We have to do this so to check <coughs> uh, if our mouth is closed. Mark. So we can actually have a game. Um, wait, where is it? Where's the logic movie? Okay, so uh, mark dot mouse close equals true. I mean, it's released. It should be false. And uh, to use this, we are going to do here. If it's bad, and if our mouth is not closed, mouth closed. We we throw up. Otherwise, we always, oh, no, no. We actually have to check here. Uh, and mouth closed. Not mouth closed. Then we throw up. I cannot extend the time. Two minutes. Two minutes, let's go. Got this. Let's see, oops. <laughs> Okay, do we have our game here? I, th I think that's way too big, just a minute. Oh, there we go. Let's make it bigger. It's a good sandwich. Oh, we should make a sandwich disappear. We just have a oh, yes. sandwich. The last line we need. Go, oh, good sandwich. Oh, this bad sandwich. That's a bad sandwich. Oh, that's a good sandwich. That's a good nice. sandwich. Nice. That's a bad sandwich. <laughs> it's working. You got it. Nice. One minute left. I don't think we can. We have time to edit, edit, edit anything else. Uh, what can we add it in the last minute? Um, let's see. I don't really know. <laughs> a, a counter? Can we count the score? I think so. Yeah. Uh, first, let, uh, I want to make it uh, a little bit. Oh, actually, I think oh, another thing I want to do is publish it at the end. Oh, OK. So I think we can take the last time to just publish what we have made here. That's fair. As, as is. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we can come up with a name at last minute. One person suggested, uh, and that's time, one person suggested um, a name of their friend, actually. Ooh. Yeah, which one? It, who it was? Was it Ashley? I feel like that's very specific. What about just um, sandwich at Wendit's? Sandwich at Wendit's. I like that. Um, or yeah, open to any suggestion. But dead witch, <laughs> dead witch. I I just, I just copy that. That was, that's it. And let's, let's just publish. It's going to be a full game. 
three A title. All right. Make sure that once it's published, everyone here needs to uh, give it a like and run it. <laughs> it is a requirement. Yeah. And yeah. And just don't, don't eat bad sandwich. It's gonna make you vomit. It's gonna make your head tilt 90 degrees and vomit. Can you put the link in the chat? Uh, I'll put the link in the chat again. Yeah, thank you, and thank you everyone for joining. Well done. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. We got a lot more sessions right now, so check out, see what's happening, and I'll give a quick plug. At 4:30, I'm going to be telling awful jokes. So if you guys like terrible jokes, that is what you need to be checking out. Excited. Very excited. Thank you, guys. All righty. See, everyone. I don't know how to end this, actually. Um, do we I can leave. We can both just leave. <laughs> and it's basically done. Yeah. I mean, in theory, we can keep it a whole day. I don't see, I don't see anyone stopping. I guess we'll just, we'll just both leave. And I'm going to check out some of the other sessions because I want to see what other people are doing. Yeah, I'm going to check out other stuff, too. Yeah, so I'm checking out. See you guys. See you guys. See you.